Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math Video 19.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, just a short reminder if we have the number 4 8, well, we could reduce that. We could list all of the prime factors in the numerator and all the prime factors in the denominator, right? Cancel, there's a 2, a 2, a 2, a 2, so that all cancels. Anytime you cancel some, all the prime factors in the top, you're left with 1, so you put a 1, there's only a 2 here. So that 1 half is reduced. Now here's a potential problem with fraction number formatting. If I say equals 4 divided by 8, control enter. Now I'm going to open format cells, either that number tab there or control 1. And I'm going to go to number down here. And what we've been doing is we highlight, and I see a single uh, digit and a single digit. So I do question mark slash question mark. But here's the deal. This uh, fraction number formatting automatically reduces. And most of the time, that is what you want. But there's some cases where you absolutely want to show that 8. So here's the deal. And we, we, we'll see one or two other examples in this uh, chapter of this. You just put the number. So it's question mark slash 8. Now that hard codes this number formatting. Anything you put there will always show in the 8 in the denominator. And if that's not what you want, then don't use it. But if you have to show it, that's the number formatting. Click OK. Similarly with 412, same thing. We list all the prime factors in the numerator and the denominator. The 2 is canceled. We're left with a 1 because all the prime factors are gone. A 3 here. So when we go equals 4 divided by 12, 0.33333, you might know that that decimal is the equivalent to 1 -third. So Control-1. Go down to Custom, question mark slash question mark, 1 -third. No problem. If I have to show it as 12, I don't put a question mark. I put a 12. And there it is. Click OK. All right. See you next video.